Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my at-home facial routine. I recently got some more like gadgets for an at-home facial and I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I've been really enjoying this whole routine. The current quality of my skin has is the best it's been in a while. So I'm just excited to share the products and gadgets I've been using. So let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, it can't be a pamper routine without lighting a candle and diffusing some oil. And today we're gonna do both. So I am lighting this grapefruit soy candle from Trader Joe's. You guys know that I love these little soy tin candles. If you watch any of my Trader Joe's hauls or my empties, you know that. Um, they smell really good. They're not too strong. They're made of soy and I can just pick them up at the grocery store, which is great. So I am lighting that. And then I'm also filling up my dew drop diffuser from Young Living. I recently switched up my diffusers and I am putting some eucalyptus radiata in there, which is a newer eucalyptus oil to me. It smells great. It smells um, a little like sweeter than normal eucalyptus, but it still smells really good and very spa-like. So I'm just gonna get that going in the diffuser. Once the ambiance is set, it's time to get started on the skincare. So I am starting off with this Pacifica Rose Quartz Face Dry Brush. And you're supposed to do this before you cleanse your skin. Um, I, I don't know if I've seen like a ton of benefits from it, but it is fun to use and I personally think it feels good. I know a lot of people think dry brushing feels bad, but um, I think this feels pretty good. So you do it in circular motions up towards your hairline. Um, so I'm just doing that to buff off any dead skin before I go in and cleanse. And you can also take it down your neck and on your decollete, decolletage, your chest as well. <laughs> then after that, I'm gonna go in and cleanse and I'm using my trusty, simple moisturizing facial wash, which I love. This is my favorite to use with my Clarisonic. Um, this is the Mia 2, I believe. And I use the exfoliating brush head. It is a little bit rough, not rough, but it is a little bit harder. They do have like some sensitive skin ones. I freaking hate washing my face in the sink. I'm doing it for video sake, but I don't know how normal people do it. Normal people as if I'm not normal, but you know what I mean? I know a lot of people that wash their face in the sink, but just water gets everywhere and it's just annoying and it's dripping down my forearms. Okay, but whatever, me complaining isn't very relaxing during this pamper routine video, so I'll be quiet. But I basically just cleansed my skin. Then I'm going in with my current favorite exfoliant. This is the Young Living Mint Satin Facial Scrub. Um, Young Living is the brand of oils that I use, and this is an all natural face scrub, which I love. This is a very gentle face scrub, so it's perfect for every day. And the peppermint that's in it leaves your skin feeling so clean and like cooled it just is so refreshing and i love it especially for the summertime so i'm going in with that after my cleanser just gotta wipe up my whole damn body after washing my face in the sink but after that i'm gonna go in with a face mask i love this watermelon stick mask from milk makeup i love the mask itself because it doesn't dry down so it's very comfortable to wear so it's the perfect mask to wear if you're gonna like take a bath or you just want to sit in it for a little bit but i also love it because it's a no mess applying situation which like isn't that big of a deal but i i don't know i just get masks all over my hands sometimes and so just being able to apply it with a stick, it's just so nice. And then on top of both of that, I love the way my skin looks afterwards. It just makes my skin look very, almost like brightened and it just feels nice and soft afterwards. So I just apply that all over my face and then after about 20 to 30 minutes, I take it off and then I am misting myself with my homemade face toner. You guys have seen me make this. It's basically a bunch of essential oils and some witch hazel. Then I'm going in with my Lush Galaxy Lip Scrub. They don't have this one currently available but they have so many other ones. I'll link my favorite one down below. But I love this stuff. It's really the only lip scrub I ever use and have used since I started using lip scrub. It's all edible, so you could, if you choose to, just lick it away when you're done, but I'm kind of grossed out by like all that dead lip skin, so I choose to wipe it off with a wet towel. Um, and this one does look a little bit blue as you're putting it on. It doesn't stain blue or anything, not that I've noticed, but I just use my finger and then I'm going in with this super cool Sephora lip scrubbing tool that I've had for years and I totally love. It's very affordable. I can link it down below, but I just use both sides to get in there and scrub my lips to get any extra skin off that I didn't get with my fingers. And then I rinse my lips off. Mm -hmm. 
Then for some added relaxation, I am applying some of my Nature's Ultra CBD Calm Roller. This is by Young Living and Nature's Ultra. It has a bunch of essential oils in it and some CBD, and it really does help me calm down. I put it behind my ears and on my um, forearms, both forearms, and then I rub it together. And it takes about 30 minutes, but I do feel slightly calmer after I put that on. Now for my favorite part of the facial. First, I'm going in with a light layer of my Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask and just a little bit. Normally when I use this mask, I use about double that, but since I'm just putting on a light layer, I'm just putting on a little bit. So I am putting that all over my face, including like under my eyes and on my eyelids because it really helps hydrate those areas for me. Then while that sits for a moment, I'm going to apply my new favorite lip cream. This is the Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream from Fresh. It smells like roses, it smells so good it feels so good it's very luxurious so it's perfect for my at home pamper facial day so I'm just applying that to my lips it does have a bit of a milky pink color to it which I think is nice but if you're not into that beware but it's nothing too strong and then for the star of this video, Foro actually sent me their new UFO 2 which is basically a device to help you set in your face masks better like i i have a hard time describing this because there's nothing like it but it's basically the idea of sheet masks but in a smaller form and on this little device that has led lights and um pulsations to massage your face comes with these little um like mask rounds that you can choose from I, there's four of them there's the call of the night H2O Overdose, which I think is my current favorite, Glow Addict, and Make My Day. So the two middle ones you can use whenever, but the Make My Day is made for before you put on makeup in the morning, and then the Call It A Night one is obviously made for at night. So it's basically the same like consistency of a sheet mask, it's just smaller. So you take it out of the packaging where it's like soaking in the serum, you put it right on top, you clip it in, and then you use the 4O app to sync your device. Oh, we're having a Ludo break. He's always nearby when I'm using this thing. I think he likes the sound of the app. I don't know, but he's always nearby and he's so cute. And I just thought I'd give you a little Ludo update. But um, you open your app, you sync your device, you scan in the sheet mask thing you're using. So it like syncs up, it knows what you're using and it has different treatments for each one. And then you push start and you start your treatment. Circular motion as you gently glide UFO across your face and neck, distributing mask essence evenly. Allow your mind and body to slowly awaken as the red LED and a gentle warmth prepare your skin to receive the full benefits of this complex. Relax and enjoy a soothing facial massage as T-Sonic pulsations infuse moisture into your skin for a radiant, healthy-looking complexion. As the warmth gradually decreases, the anti-pollution formula is locked into skin, while the green LED helps reveal a brighter, more even skin tone for an all-day glow. You're coming to the end of your treatment. Take a few more seconds to relax and enjoy, and prepare to feel refreshed. Your smart mask treatment is now complete. If you'd like, you can repeat the treatment. I almost always repeat the treatment just because it feels so nice, but guys, seriously, like the quality of my skin, besides a few breakouts because I was on my period, is just, it's like tighter and plumper yet more hydrated. It just feels so good and I'm so obsessed with it. And just the treatment itself feels so good with the massage and the light and the heat. It just, I love it. So thank you Foro for sending that to me. It's been incredible. Then I'm going in with this First Aid Beauty eye mask, which actually has like a bit of like pink tint and shimmer to kind of brighten underneath your eyes. So it's great to wear under makeup, but also on days when you're not wearing makeup, just to brighten up your under eye area. So I'm just putting that all over the orbital bone and on top of my lid as well. Then I'm going in with my last little swipe of my Marc Jacobs Youthquake 
um, moisturizing gel cream, whatever you want to call this. I love that stuff. I am so sad it's gone now. I might repurchase it. It is splurgy, but I might have to do it. And of course, I am adding in a drop of my frankincense essential oil. And I have seen such a difference in my skin ever since I started integrating frankincense oil into my routine. I use it every other night, just the way you just saw, one or two drops right into my moisturizer. And this Marc Jacobs moisturizer feels so luxurious and nice and I'm just always obsessed with the way my skin feels after I use it. And then to seal everything in, I am using the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I'm obsessed with this. It gives your skin a really like glowy finish. So I do like it on top of makeup, but I also like it just on days when I'm not wearing makeup and I just want my skin to look nice and glowy and pulled together. And it smells really good and it feels really nice. So it's perfect for like a fancy at-home facial day. And yeah, I'm just I keep giving you close-ups of my skin. And while I'm waiting for that to kind of like dry into my face, I'm going to do a bit of jade rolling, which is one of my all-time favorite facial tools. I keep this by my bed in my bedside table to massage my jaw for my TMJ, but it's also great for facial massage. So you always kind of want to go up towards the hairline just so you can lift the skin, but I really love it right on the jaw because it just feels incredible for somebody who has TMJ. Um, and I just take it on the forehead. I also like to take the smaller side of it and rub it right across my eyebrows. It feels incredible if you have a tension headache or anything like that. And I even take that small side as well and gently massage it right on top of my eyelids and it just feels so good. I can link my favorite jade roller down below. I got it on Amazon. It's very affordable and it works great. I have a few different rollers, but my jade roller is still my absolute favorite. So I'm just rolling in the rest of the serum. And this is what my skin looks like at the end of the facial routine. Just, it's been so moisturized lately and I've just been impressed. And that 4 thing is just the bee's knees. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing a peek into my at-home facial routine. I will have a couple other pamper type routine videos pop up on the screen right now that you can click and watch if you're interested. But otherwise, I will see you very soon in a new video. I hope you subscribe and you'll stick around. But otherwise, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.